I mean, we knew Swag was good, but we didn't expect this kind of explosion this early. Look at him. Goes up over the defender on the sideline. Manages to keep his feet in bounds. Look at it. Catches at the highest point. Keeps his feet in bounds. And now he's surrounded by four defenders. They have every angle you can imagine. He outruns them all. Like it's nothing. Super sophomore swag. It was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow. 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walk out a little further. Then he had it right around in this area. This the area. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. He's right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man didn't stretch. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. trying to do is get some air you don't care about no basketball game you don't care what's on TV you don't care about nobody calling you you don't care about a party the only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air that's it and when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe then you'll be successful and I'm here to tell you number one that most of you say you want to be successful but you don't want it bad you just kind of want it you don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. It's for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. So I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flip, you can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me, you'll never be successful because I don't have to give you a dime. You won't be successful until you say, I don't need that money. Because I got it in here. But listen to me, Emmett Smith said this at the end of the commercial. Emmett Smith said, all men are created equal, some work harder in free season. 
I'm going to say it again because you might have missed it. All men are created equal. Some were part of in preseason. Created equal, some work hard in preseason. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0s, they went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from, it's about hearts. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have hearts. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. I'm going to say it again, I'm going to hurt somebody. I'm going to hurt somebody. Some of you need to give up your cell phone. Because the time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using it on the cell. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. And somebody has told you, you couldn't live without it. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could be. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing, because you have never written before. But I dare you to fail in writing for a whole year to see if you can get to the end. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you saw. Always want to give up. I'm dropping. Why are you dropping? I'm so grateful that the slaves didn't drop and quit. Say, I'm just going to stop. I'm a slave. I'm just going to be a slave. I'm going to quit. Listen to me, the slave said, we will live because one day we will become. The problem is, you ain't never felt no pain before, you're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. Our people did not quit. Harriet Tubman not only made it, she went back and got some more. is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Listen to me, I'm telling you as I leave. I'm telling you as I leave, I was homeless for two and a half years. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before, you're spoiled. Y'all spoiled. Some of y'all spoiled. It's bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself. You're spoiled. We're going to keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home.
at the end of pain is success. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. My greatest asset is I was homeless, so I can't feel a whole lot of pain. I've already been alone. There's not a whole lot of, not, not a whole lot of hurt I can feel. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want.